So, Rachel, you've been here for how long? What? Um, since about eighth grade, so four years now. This will uh, be the fifth. Four years. Mm -hmm. Four. So you're gonna beat me, because I have to go off to college, and I only got four years because I was doing show choir when Haley asked us to come up here, and that was like our first time we came as like a. It was actually me, Paul, Bobby, oh and Logan. <laughs> you can only imagine. So that was how I got started. When it, back in 2008, after a play practice, actually, after show choir rehearsal too. But how did you get started? Um, well, I took some master classes here um, when they first opened, kind of, and. Um, you know, I knew Haley already, and she told me about the program and everything. And my mom's been a special needs teacher my whole life, so I guess you could say it's in my blood. But I just love working with special needs kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a cousin. His name's Demetrius. He lives in Tennessee, and he actually he can't walk like at all. He's never been able to walk. He's always had to crawl around. So like, it's in my family too. Um. But I know after that first night with the children, like, dogpiling us and hitting us with the big blue balls in the back, <laughs> I was like, I guess I'll give it a try again. And then it's been pretty much every year during the summer, during the school year of being here. Yeah. But you're lucky because you actually get to, like, work here mm -hmm. and be around them a lot more than I do. Yeah. So I actually got to teach my own class this year. It was a lot of fun. See, I wish I could do that. I actually would never get anything done because all they do is hit me. <laughs> so, When you first started volunteering here, um, I could definitely see like an interaction with the kids, how much they loved you. They always love having uh, a male figure, kind of, but um, you definitely made like a connection with them. I could see it. I thought it was really cool. So, I mean, but the kids they respect you and like they look up to you because they have seen what you do um dance wise something that i could never do because i i, I don't i'm not flexible or dancer <laughs> like at all but i mean who is one kid that you would say has like had the most influence on you since you've been here um well i I'm really close to Olivia. I've been I'm really close to her family. I I babysit her outside of um, teaching her here at Mary Mac. But um, Eliana is definitely someone I will never forget because of the way she started here three four years four years ago now when she she couldn't even walk and um, a couple of summers ago she had surgery to lengthen her Achilles tendon. And I can definitely tell a difference. It's really helped. And the first time she walked to me, I, I just could not stop crying. It made me so happy to see just see her happy and like be able to do that. When I see the kids perform in their uh, recitals and when they're rehearsing and stuff, I can definitely uh, tell a difference how they feel about having an audience as, as opposed to just looking at themselves in the mirror. Um, some of them are a little shy about it, but a lot of them, like Eliana, love for, to have people watch them. And it's just so cool to see them, how they grow yeah. every year. And it's funny because like some kids, they won't do one single thing in rehearsal, but when it, when it comes to performance time, they know everything. And it's just like, <laughs> what? difference in audience like it's it's crazy how much of a difference an audience can make um because i mean some of them they don't talk some of them might not talk or some of them might not practice but then when you sit them down to get makeup done or when you need to help them change a the costume they're ready to go and it's just like a dream come true for like these kids when they sing and dance and sing and like the christmas show when they got to act a little bit and it was actually it was it was really like life changing for me to see because um you never know how much of a difference something can make until you like see it firsthand and so like that was just really important to me and that's why I've been here for so long so